The origin of Scott's Squirrel used a two-stroke motor, and this homage remains true. The motor is relatively simple, featuring only three moving parts, the crankshaft, the connecting rods, and the pistons. As the piston falls, it increases the volume above it in the cylinder, dropping the pressure. When it falls below a certain point, it uncovers the transfer port, and fuel air mix from the crankcase is forced into the cylinder. As it continues the cycle, the ports are closed over again, sealing the cylinder. For the rest of the piston stroke, this mixture is compressed. When the piston is around the top of its stroke, the spark plug ignites the compressed mixture, which heats massively and expands. This expansion is where the power comes from, and it forces the piston down until the exhaust port is uncovered. The high pressure of the ignited mixture causes it mostly to force itself into the lower pressure of the exhaust, and milliseconds later the transfer ports will open again, this rush of the new mixture exhausting virtually all the remainder.